Hey everybody, today we'll be making a custom keyboard. Um, so here are the specs. I got a GK64X, um, and I also have the keycaps. It's like B keycaps, they look like this. I'll show you them later when I build it. And also we have um, Gator on Milky Yellows. It's full milky, but there was one um, black bottom, um, milky top. So let's get into the making. Oh, that's a dead end on the table. Okay. First, I'm gonna open the case and PCB. Uh, there's the wire. So it came like this. Here's the wire. Um, I'm guessing inside here is the switch puller. Yep. And there's a switch puller. Two plastic keycap pullers. Um. A double space, some double space bar um, stabilizers, um, instructions, instructions, and the best part, the case and PCB. So, right now, I'm going to start building it. One by one, I'm going to put the glorious switches in. Um, this is my first time, I'm so nervous. I, I'm, I'm kind of scared like the pen, pins are going to bend. bend. Oh my gosh. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh. Oh, I really don't know what to do. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's backwards. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. Okay, I guess just some more to go. Okay. Uh, you can skip this part if you like. I'm just building it. Or you can just watch me suffering while trying to not bend any other pins. I'm being very cautious right now. Like, very, very cautious. Oh, that just sounds insane. Just, I think we're done. I might have been that pin. I might have been that pin. I don't know, I'm not sure. Oh, and fun fact. Go down there and make the um, playback speed two times two. Why can you do this as painful? Should be painful. Oh gosh. The thing was bent. I fixed it. And I'm sure it will sound amazing. Oh, and by the way, these are lubed in films. It really upgrades the sound. Really does. Oh no. Phew. I'm pretty sure I've bent like five pins right now. Just make sure I put them all correctly. Okay. It's so mismatching. There's one that was not a. Oh my gosh. It wasn't a full milky. It's more socky. But deeper. Oh. Bent pin police. So here's my progress so far. I've covered some of it. You know what? I'm just going to add in the space bar right now to see how it sounds. Just to see how it sounds. Actually, I'm actually pretty scared, honestly. Honestly, pretty scared. I don't know how this is gonna go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Can I just clamp down on it? Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. Oh gosh, what is happening? The stabilizers were out for one second. Is it in? No. So that's how the space bar sounds. So the audio isn't the best. And Let's see the difference for the um the back space with which was a um bottom black. Yeah, I put in the back space, the bottom black. I would just think the back space is sounds really good. Well, it sounds so talky, like look. Hear that. They aren't mushy. They're actually really nice to press. Like, they're so nice. It's actually amazing. Now, let's not get distracted and let's put in the rest of the switches. I could say that I'm really happy that the parts actually did fit because I was scared that um, the Gatorons wouldn't fit on the GK64X. Uh, uh, stupid. Like, why wouldn't it fit? It's like GK64. It's hot swappable. That means um, you can put in um, any switch you want as long as it's not optical and it has to be a um, Gatoron Kale Cherry clone. MX switch. Okay. I keep having a feeling I'm bending literally every single one of these pins. I feel like I'm going to be really happy with the final build. Um, I might put some foam in here because it sounds super hollow. There's probably a lot of air in there. I might add in some um, tissue paper, foam, something like that. Make it sound better. The, the gator on logo is literally so small. These are smaller than I thought. This is my finger for comparison. I'm going to have to replace the stabilizers. I would say the um, bottom black is like over lubed. So quiet. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a typing test to see if the keyboard works. Um, this is not a, a Bluetooth version, it's just a wired version. I like these, because they aren't scratchy, they're like mega smooth. And they're like so easy to press. 
they don't go down too far. It's just the keycaps are super, super tall. And it's crushing against the nails. Um. We're, we've done about uh, a bit more than one third of it. Oh shoot! This this video is uh, starting to get really long. Skip to the timestamp in the des description to um maybe skip all of this. Because I have no idea how to speed it up. I do not have an editing program, so. No. No. Oh, bent pen. That's not good. There you go. And if you think this is this feels tedious, then just wait until just just watch people loop things. This was um already looped, thankfully for me. That's why I chose it. I got this from eBay. And it came a few days late. The switches. Not gonna lie, this space part is super clacky. I really like that sound. I used to like poppy, like those poppy sounds like Tofu 65, I'm s Tofu 60, I think, yeah, I like to use like those poppy sounds that are for the um, banana split switches, but not anymore, now I like clacky and thocky. But this is a mega bent spin, a mega bent um, pin, wait, it's not right there, I'm gonna go get a thing. Okay, this thing is for the is on the rescue. Oh gosh, yo, this pin is super bent. What happened in the packaging? So bent. It might have clashed with the other. Like, see. See how bent that is. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, it's really, really bent. It's like it's wiggly wiggly all the way to the top. I'm gonna put that one aside for now. It's fine. I got 70 pieces and this is 64, so I'm gonna have six extra pieces, I believe, yeah. the gk64 is the perfect size it's got the arrow keys because man who doesn't want arrow keys arrow keys are absolutely amazing huh. 
Oh, these are so smooth. Uh-oh. Okay. That did not sound good for a second. I thought the whole thing just went kabloom. Now this pen, pen is really bent too. This might be even bent than the other one. Unless... Get a grip, Jaden. These two are like unrepairably super bent. So I'm done. Reveal in three, two, one. So I think it looks pretty clean. Um, so remember there was one black bottom? I put that one here. Sounds a little different. But here's the sound test. Um, tell me in the comments if you can consider this docky. Well, anyways, um, that was my finish. That was, that is the end for my, um, keyboard building and using process. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.